Okay, so uh, this page is not in your notes, uh, but I want you to put it in your notes. Um, <clears throat> it's a, um, I'll post it on Canvas called uh, Vectors and Cross Products. Um, so look at this, um, and uh, this is going to be very helpful. <clears throat> so, uh, the only thing that I have talked about is that the velocity on the edge, you know, is equal to r omega. The tangential acceleration is r alpha. The norm acceleration is r omega squared. So, if we have a disk that is fixed about its center, right, a disk that is fixed about its center, and, and we want to know the velocity right here <coughs> at point A, we'll call it. Uh, what I prefer to do is I prefer to do these, the, these magnitudes and I visualize the direction myself. I'll give it a direction myself, right? So <coughs> right here, if, if I'm told that this is at some angle, let's say 20 degrees from horizontal, then what I'll do is I'll say, oh, okay, well, the velocity right here is r omega, and it is at 20 degrees from vertical. And so I'll, I'll calculate r omega in my calculator, and then I'll do, you know, let's see, uh, the um, cosine 20 would be its j component, and sine 20 would be its negative i component. You know, I, I just I visualize it. I give it a direction myself. The a tangential would be in that direction. My a normal would be in this direction. <clears throat> okay. So I think if we're on any of these four points, very top, very bottom, very left, very right, we should definitely just do do these velocities and give it a direction ourselves. So here's a magnitude. Give them. <clears throat> direction myself. Okay, but um, it turns out that I could let the math do the work for me. I could let these vectors show me the direction myself. And so uh, these cross products and things like that is a way for the... Um, vectors to give their own direction, I guess you could say. All right, so the velocity uh, can also be calculated as omega crossed with r. All right, you got to do this correctly. You can't do r cross omega. You got to do omega <coughs> cross r. What is r? r is the position vector from the center rotation to, you know, out to the point <clears throat> that you're interested in. Got to make sure that R is from the center out to the point. This omega <clears throat> needs to be a vector now. We haven't really talked much about that. But in 2D, all of my angular information, omega and alpha, it's either clockwise or counterclockwise, right? <clears throat> so I need to say that these are in the k direction. If we're in 2D, these are in the k direction. Now, might be positive, might be negative k. Positive k, positive k is counterclockwise. Positive k is counterclockwise. So you can do this. All right, so you can do this. Um, <clears throat> you can let the vectors and let the math uh, do uh, do the direction for you. All right, so let's kind of uh, show this right here. If we want to know the velocity of A, I could say velocity of A is omega crossed with R. So the velocity of A, this omega, well, if the omega was in the counterclockwise direction, that might, let's say maybe it's three uh, in the K, cross with an R. So this R, I need to be very careful. This R is a position vector from here outward, from here center outward. Uh, let's say this is four inches. 
Uh, then this R would be 4 <coughs> cosine 20 in the I for sine 20 in the J. And then I would do this cross product, and my answer for my velocity of A would, would it be whatever this um, math comes out to. So I would do 3 times 4 cosine 20 and k cross i. So first, multiply the numbers together, then cross the um, unit vectors together. <coughs> so k cross i. Now, if you don't know your cross products, that's okay. I don't really know them either. I just memorized this kind of circle that i cross j leads to k. j cross k leads to i, k cross i leads to j. So if you're going in this direction, i cross with j, it's equal to k. k cross with i, it's equal to j. You know, cross product of two vectors gives you a the vector that's perpendicular to the others, right? So i cross with j would give me a k because k is perpendicular to both i and j. And it's almost the right-hand rule. If you point your four fingers in the direction of i and curl them to the direction of k, then your thumb is pointing in the direction. So, no, so, let me say that again. I cross J. Point your fingers in the direction of I, curl them in the direction of J. Your thumb is the direction <coughs> of K, across uh, both of those. But anyway, just kind of memorize this circle. Memorize these, and then if it's opposite, then your answer is negative K or negative I or negative J. Uh, but the one that you're most uh, going to be most useful here <coughs> is K cross I and K cross J. Make sure you know K cross I equals J, K cross J, negative I. All right, so K cross I would lead to J. And then right here, 3 times 4 sine 20 k cross j would lead to negative i. Negative i. Now, I don't have that math, but that right there would be the velocity of a. And that's the exact same thing that I would have gotten if I had just done r omega and given it a sine 20 and cosine 20, given it directions myself. Does it make sense that this was a negative i and positive j? Yeah, I think it makes sense that your velocity. All right, so... This um, handout, print it out, hole punch it, put it in your notes. I would have done that for you if I could. Um, and this is just another method. I prefer this, right? I prefer this. But this is also true right here. These cross products, omega cross r, <coughs> alpha cross r. Now let's look at this one. This normal is negative omega squared it's not cross R or anything. It, it's just times R. Don't do not a cross product. Don't do a cross product for a normal. Um, it just multiplies those together. Does it make sense that the direction is, this is just the magnitude of omega. It's not, omega is not in the K. It's just the magnitude squared. <coughs> Put that negative out in front of it times r. And do you see the direction for this one? The direction is going to be in the negative direction that r was in. Does that make sense that your normal acceleration would be in the negative direction that r was in? r is from the center out to the point. <coughs> your a normal is into the curve, so it'd be in the negative r direction. So anyway, this, this um, page right here is helpful. Um, if you don't want to visualize it, if you have a hard time visualizing this velocity the tangential acceleration or the normal acceleration, then you might want to do the cross products. Omega cross R for velocity, alpha cross R for tangential acceleration, and negative omega squared times R for the normal acceleration.